Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I am going to talk about how to use the design part of the DNA Center. I already given an introduction how this DNA looks like and all in the different video. So here we will stick with the design part of it. Whenever you start designing your network, you, have, you should have the network hierarchy what you are going to do uh, in that site you have to know you should know what are the sites you are going to get added into the system so once you got that uh, hierarchy model available with you you can start designing it so first thing you have to add a site so when you add site you can uh, get a you will get a uh, page like this so first give the um, name so let me give that uh, name as jason so i'm I'm from India, so I'll just put parent as India only. Then click on add. Then uh, you can see that this particular site got added. When you list down the India, you can see a site got added under that India hierarchy. Then under that, you can click on this JSON settings. Then you can see a um, add building option. You, you can also uh, put a site under that site. But um, right now we will directly add a building. So when you add the building, you have to uh, give the name. Again, building name, I will give B1 as a building one. Then address, I will put uh, my native. So you can search for your specific location. So I am putting um, that particular location here. When you set that address, it will directly detect the location in your map based on the uh, latitude and longitude so once this, is, this one is done you can click add so once it's added you can see that uh, there is a extra building got added under json the next one is you have to add the floors so this is the step-by-step -step process you, you can't start from bottom up model you have to come from top to bottom here you can uh, click on uh, settings button and add a floor so this is where uh, you are going to add the floors um, for that particular building let me add that floor as uh, floor one then uh, parent it will be automatically selected because you clicked on this particular um, settings button that's why that parent is taken here automatically then uh, indoor high ceiling you can uh, you can choose what is the R of model you want to continue here then you can upload a um, floor plan. So in my case, I'm going to upload a DWG uh, file, uh, AutoCAD file. If you're uploading an AutoCAD file, it will automatically detect the uh, scaling of that building. So right now we can see the scale here as 100, right? So if you're uploading JPG or any other picture for format, you have to make sure you are putting the right scale of that building in the uh, map while uploading it. If you are uh, working with a DWG file, you are okay with uh, any any model uh, because the um, any DWG file because that scale will be automatically updated from that DWG. So right now I have a, a sample uh, DWG file. I got it from Google. You can search it and find it from Google. So let me open that. So it will retrieve the uh, floor layers of that particular um, DWG file. Then it will show that. Um, layers here and if you want to choose some specific layers you can uh, choose that layer and you can avoid that so for, for an example if you want to avoid the grid line you can choose that uh, or you can uncheck that so that it will not reflect in the map when you got uploaded into the system so let me select all because i don't see anything that can be like that should be removed from this one so i clicked on select layers so once it's uh, selected, it will get added. Uh, it will be added to your uh, floor plan. And you can see that width and length got changed. Previously it was 10, uh, sorry, 100. Now it's got changed to 48. So that is getting updated from that uh, AutoCAD file directly. If you are, uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you are using any JPG or PNG files, you have to do this manually. Then height, by default, is taking 10 feet. I'm going to stick with that 10. If you have more height or something, you can update that height here. Then click on add. That particular floor will be added. Then you can see that floor uh, once is saved in the DNAC center. Let's wait for that to uh, complete this height adding. 
okay now that particular floor is added so once is added you can see um, your floor plan here the AutoCAD file you can choose your uh, zooming level how you want to zoom it and how you want to zoom out so you have an option uh, to see 5 gigahertz and all those things so once you portion the ap you will be able to place the ap's as per your uh, location and that will allow you to see the heat map of that ap and the all other all other uh, all other uh, requirements in that now um, as you can see here you have the zoom out zoom in button so so zoom out will allow you to just zoom in into some specific location or something then work on it um, now uh, next one is uh, you have uh, this floor once you uh, once you are done with uh, this part you have uh, edit option in the edit option you will get a number of options that you can do so you can put the uh, coverage areas you can um, uh, set that you can click on this add and you can add the coverage area for the building then um, this is uh, add coverage then uh, you have obstacles you can add it location regions and all those things we can add it as per your requirement on that particular floor you can do that then uh, this is the part for ap uh, adding an ap into this uh, into this particular floor then uh, position the ap so uh, once it's provision to this floor you will be able to use that right now we don't have any ap's on uh, this particular dnac that will be covered in the next video so once we got the ap provision to the site i will show you how to how to add that into the floor plan and how to see a heat map for that so this is how you add the network hierarchy of your uh, setting uh, of your floor or building or your site into your system into your uh, dnac so this is how you add it so once this uh, once this this building sites and everything got added then only you can start provisioning the devices because you need this hierarchy first so network hierarchy is uh, really uh, mandatory thing kind of a mandatory thing if you are not doing this even the provisioning can't be done on that particular site so this is how you add your uh, floor plan into your system and add your hierarchy into your system thank you for watching